everyone and Tam Fam, we are here again today with you with another phenomenal interview. This person is a close personal friend of my family and now Shan's family. Yes. <laughs> association. He is Raymond Foster. He's um, uh, an awarded real estate agent, a uh, humble Jamaican. He is passionate about people. He's an entrepreneur, a businessman. He loves doing work in the volunteer field. And he thinks he's not, but he's actually also a motivational speaker. And believe me when I tell you that you will have so much fun listening to what Raymond has to tell us today, just about life and about the real estate market. So without further ado, let's get into it. Hi, Raymond. So good to have you with us today. So um, we always get started with just trying to find out a little bit about our guests. Tell us, who is Raymond Foster? Where are you from? And, you know, how did you get to being who you are today? You know, I could talk all afternoon regarding that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> because um, I, I, um, I'm a, as, as well, I'm a realtor, as you can see from my background, but uh, it didn't start there, but uh, it started in um, a little town in Manchester, Jamaica called Christiana. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah that's where I grew up. Um, nice. Very humble beginnings. Mm -hmm. uh, my father was the, part of his job was part of being the, 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 the local pastor of the church. So I'm a, I'm a pastor's son. You're a PK. <laughs> and, um, You're a pastor's kid. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so went to primary school, you know, it is back in the day, uh, it was common entrance then, uh, I was blessed enough to be successful and I went to the, uh, went to Knox College and then I, um, I went to, back in the day, it was called TAST, yes. Art, Science and Technology, today it's UTEC, right. I, um, I did engineering, so I'm an engineer by profession. Okay. Mm -hmm. By my training, I should say, professionally, right now I'm a realtor, but right. um, my training is in engineering. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yes, so I'm from that small town, I'm from very humble beginnings, um, brought up with good and godly principles, have fantastic parents, I must say. Uh, my mother, unfortunately, passed two years ago. Mm. I'm still alive, he's 87 years old, so I'll be around for a very long time to so get used to me. Good genes. <laughs> <laughs> so, and my mother died at 84, so oh, okay. uh, I've been around for a very long time. Mm -hmm. uh, I have two siblings, and, um, and um, you know, but God has been good. We're all alive. Right. Everybody's alive. Yeah. So, um, you wanted to know, um, how do I get into real estate or? Well, before we even get there, I want to mm -hmm. know, so you're from Jamaica. You just yes. told us about that, you know, mm -hmm. humble beginnings. I know Christiana. I believe that's like a farming area, isn't it? Like generally? Yes, yes. Um, it's, it's, yeah. it's, primarily, it's primarily a farming community. Um, we used to plant a lot of Irish potato. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, that's what my father used to send us to school farming. Okay, okay, uh, that's good. So work hard. Um, mm -hmm. I was a housewife. Right. Um, make sure that um, when we get our report cards, mm -hmm. um, the only thing she's looking for is A's and B's. Mm -hmm. I think else we are in trouble. Okay. <laughs> and um, they they didn't spare the rod and spoil the child. I must say, I've been I've had a few episodes of that, <laughs> <laughs> and it also helped to form who I am today. Right. Absolutely. Um, you know, so those formative years, uh, if, when just, just reflecting, I think uh, my parents, they didn't do so badly. Um, four kids. Okay. Okay. Um, three boys and a girl. My yeah. baby is 23 years old. Okay. And she is finishing up her degree in engineering. That's amazing. At York University. And I have one other son who's finishing up a, at Guelph doing biological science. Okay. So once I get those two through, I said, hallelujah. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 So talk to us about your transition then from 
Jamaica to Canada. How did that happen? And what was that like for you? Um, I came here in 2000. Mm -hmm. Yes, I used to, um, back, back home I worked at um, a few, you know, I worked at the Gleena company. That's the last place I worked before I came here. Prior to that, I worked at Xerox and, mm -hmm. you know, I, I, I worked at, I worked at some really good corporate companies. Yeah, so my, my corporate background was very strong. Uh, yes. I was in man at the management level. Mm -hmm. um, I, you know, in charge of the IT department and stuff like that. So okay. at one point I was, um, I was like my, I was an operations manager for a chain, chain of retail stores. Mm -hmm. That time my wife was an auditor at Bank of Jamaica. So, um, you know, things started to change a little bit back home you know, in terms of um, career opportunities, because back then a first degree was commonplace. You know, right. you don't have a degree the first. Mm -hmm. Then I know people then who have MBAs were having difficulty finding employment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So a little bit upticking, you know, um, the undesirables for a better word. Mm -hmm. and, you know, it wasn't so safe as we expected. And we, we, we thought about uh, why don't we try to create a better environment. Not for ourselves, because we're doing okay. We had right. our home, we had our, our cars and stuff like have a helper and stuff like that. So we were doing okay, but yes. um, we thought about the future for our children. Right. Yes. And based on that, we decided that we we're going to uh, take a transition because we're seeing people are doing that. Okay. So at that time I was working at Xerox and you can you think it was right there in Nostrand Boulevard. I don't know, I don't know if you guys yes, yeah, yes, yes man in Kingston. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I said you saw work at LOJ Center right there. Yes. Um and we just said I had I had application form in my desk drawer for about a year. And I said, I said, I'm good, I'm comfortable, I'm in a good job. My wife is in a good job, a owner of home. Where are we going? You know? Yes. And we applied for it out of fun. Just out of fun. Mm -hmm. The application. And about three to four months after, three months after he did the call, I said, let's call and find out what's going on. Mm -hmm. So we called the ambassador. I said, didn't you get the lecture you guys to come in for an interview? Mm -hmm. Oh, looks like okay. six months. We had our visas. Wow. Okay. Wow. That's good. Fine. And we came here one day before it expired. So they, gave us <laughs> one year to, they gave us one year to leave. So wow. Like, well, if I missed the plane, we'd be in trouble. <laughs> but, but because it wasn't something that um, mm -hmm. we're like pining over or pushing to right. Hindsight of 2020 vision. Yes. So I. I, I think it's one of the best decisions I've made. Okay. Um, I was just outside, thinking. Outside, outside of Jamaica, I don't know if I'd want to live anywhere else. Yeah, okay. that's true. I feel outside like of Jamaica. So, um, so that is what happened. And so, so that's those are some of the stuff that drives us to, to for the transition to Canada. Right. And then, um, so here we are. Here, here we are. Oh. After. So, you, how did you get started in real estate here? Yes, so when I came here, um, I worked uh, with some, um, sorry, multinational companies. Um, mm -hmm. I, you see, I was a Microsoft, Microsoft Certified Systems Engineer. I made okay. that designation, and I also had the, the Cisco designation. I have the Novell. Um, so when I came here, I threw my um, resume on Dice Network, and within a f two months, I was working. Okay. Well, we were paid like $35 an hour, you know. Oh, and wow. That's mm -hmm. when, I, when I came here. Yeah. Yes. And it looks and like I, he loved and I, and, I thought, and I thought they were robbing me. Oh. Mm. And, but no, nobody understood what's going on in this country. I realized, I'm saying, listen, hey, you're, you're a fortunate. Yeah. Yes. To start and I didn't know. I to didn't start off at that. Yes. I didn't know. So, you know, I said hindsight after 2020 vision. Mm -hmm. I worked with, um, I worked with Unilever. I work with um, Woodbridge Phone, but then right after 9-11, mm -hmm. when you know the jobs were starting to ship overseas. And unfortunately, I um, I realized I didn't I was out of a job. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, last thing first out. And I didn't work for a year. 
And thank God I was able to take care of my family. Just bought a house too. Mm-hmm. And uh, I thank God I was able to, we were able to manage and take care of our family. And, and, um, and then when I saw that the, um, the resources started dwindling and mm-hmm. was coming as how I wanted it too. Um, and I had to put this in at this point. It was the first time I experienced racism in my life. Oh, mm-hmm. okay. During that time, yes. Because when I'm in Jamaica working as a corporate executive, you know, you're going, you're going to you're going to Montego Bay and the company fly you down. It's in a show and pick you up. And yes. Or that kind of stuff. You get company car to drive or motor. Yes. Living, you have a helper. Like I said, but yeah, come here now. It's different. It's different, yes. And um, I remember I went for a job interview. Um, some guy saw my resume online and called me from New Jersey with an American company. Yes. I did three interviews in Mississauga, but when I went back for the orientation, the guy was like, but your salary is going to be just as much as mine. Oh, wow. I didn't hear anything else after that, but I thank thank you for not giving me his job. Wow. Mm -hmm. I do. I do because the things that form my mentality. Mm -hmm. That helps me through those challenging times and even through the transition. It started when I started dating my wife. Mm-hmm. Um, I went to her house one day to see her, but she, she wasn't available. So I went into the library and I saw a book that introduced me to my other self. Mm-hmm. And that self that is keeping me today. That is why it's important that I want to talk about that. It's this book called Success Through a Positive Mental Attitude. Mm-hmm. By W. Clement Stone. W. Clement Stone is a is a is a close associate of um, um, Think and Grow Rich. Mm-hmm. Um, Napoleon Hill. Yes. So I was introduced to Think and Grow Rich. I, I remember when I was in Jamaica. Because of that, I started out in my business in Jamaica. I mean, I went to Miami in one of those business trips. I saw Think and Grow Rich in one of the books where I bought it. I still have it on my shelf right here today. Mm-hmm. Yes. You know when I walk in the mornings, I'm listening to the Think and Grow audio book. Mm-hmm. So those are the things that helps to form the, my mentality. Mm-hmm. Helps me to see through the challenges. So whilst I was um, going through this challenging period of my life, I, I, have, I draw on some of those things. There's some principles that um, to every adversity, there's an equal or greater opportunity. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. right, and and I, at that point, and when when something happened, do not complain about it. Be thankful. Yes, if you want to inter, in, if you want to inject some biblical principles at this point. The Bible says, "In everything, give thanks." In everything, give thanks. The guy who didn't give me his job, mm-hmm. he was hurting me, but he was mm-hmm. helping me. Mm-hmm. He was making me stronger, and making me more determined, and. I remember one, I remember um, I started out in real estate. Somebody said, Raymond, why don't you do real estate? You have the personality. And I said, I can't, I'm just come here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I know very few people. And, and, and then I said to my wife, you know what? I'm going to do the course. I spoke to a few, oh, this guy was a realtor. He said, give it a shot. I did the course. But then you're not used to all these years, you're used to getting benefits, you're used to getting the other. Yes. 100% commission business. Mm. And I started out and I got, got, the, got the license, started out with Remax. Not going anywhere else, guys. Not going anywhere. I'm, I'm going with Remax. Unless I do my own thing. Right? Yeah. And I, I'm hoping that whoever watches this, what I'm saying here will help you help. Mm-hmm. because it, these are some life lessons that I've learned along the way and I'm more than happy to share it. Right. Yes. And I remember because, because as a man, I believe it's my responsibility to look after my family. Mm-hmm. Yes. My responsibility to keep a roof over their head. So when I see that the jobs aren't coming, not because I'm not qualified, mm-hmm. I can't do it. But for other reasons, I realized that I may have to put up my own shingle. Mm-hmm. 
I realized I had to put up my own shingle. So when I was told about really says, you know what? I said, I have nothing to lose by trying. Mm -hmm. So then I started out with a few deals and then you realize because you don't know anybody, the deal started to bring down. Mm -hmm. Because of the man who I am, I said, I said to my wife at the time, said, you know, guys, I have to get I have to find something to do. It doesn't care. If I need to go into warehouse and get some boxes, I have to do it. Mm -hmm. And I remember I, I applied for um, a job with uh, one of these um, agents, Apple One, I think the name of it was. Yes. And yes. And they said to me, the only thing I have is a graveyard shift. You start, what, 12 o'clock to 7 o'clock or something like that? Mm -hmm. and, I, and, I, and I remember I said, I said to my wife, I said, you know what, whatever, to put food on the table for the kids, I have to do it. And I yes. went. And I remember when I went, and the lady said, oh, you have to leave your cell phone here, can't talk to that. And I was on my feet all night long. Mm -hmm. I remember even when I was walking through the, through the, um, to, the to the plant, to the factory, uh, warehouse, whatever it is, and I heard this beeping sound, and I said to the person there, what's that sound? And he said, oh, that box is, oh, that UPS. I said, flip that switch, and, and it went up, and he says, how do you know about these things? What are you doing here? Mm -hmm. I said to her, I moved to Canada, that's why I'm here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I walk out of that warehouse that morning, and I tell myself, I am not going, going back. back. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Whatever I have to do to make this work has to work. Guess what, guys? Mm -hmm. I have not changed that check. Wow. Wow. What a story. I love that, Raymond. I love that. Changed it. Wow. Because I wasn't going to depend on that. Yes. Here I am today, right? Last year, in 2019, in my local office in Mississauga, I was number one agent. Yeah. So mm -hmm. what I'm saying here, guys, is that I thank that man for not giving me his job. Mm -hmm. Because what I earned today in corporate Canada, I wasn't going to pay this little black wife from Jamaica straight okay. up. Mm -hmm. Right, right. So, um, so that is how I, I got into real estate. Oh. And you know what, Raymond, your story is just so amazing because it's not like you didn't have a career in Jamaica. Yeah. You were already established and you took yes. that bold move and came here and had to start back from scratch. Oh, yeah. Right. So it just speaks to me also of your level of humility. You said, you know, by any means necessary, I have to do what I have to do to put food on the table. So more power to you and for pushing through and to say, listen, I have to make this work. Yeah. I have to make this work. So more power to you with that. And even just think it's, um, thinking of what you're seeing, even in today's real estate market, where, mm. you know, there's so many bidding wars. There's so many things happening as a very, um, I would say, accomplished agent mm -hmm. in the mm -hmm. field now that is very qualified. What, what are some of the factors you would give to individuals who are thinking of purchasing a home in today's market? You know what? Um, home ownership is absolutely important. I mm -hmm. don't want to just, guys, I don't want to just have an uh, interview or a talk. Mm -hmm. I want to ensure that whoever should watch this, it helps them. Even if they don't yes. call the agent, I'm fine. Yes, yes. God provides for me. Yes. I believe in all my heart that in my journey through life, if I can help one person, it would have worth it. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, home ownership is the biggest catalyst to wealth. Mm. Every rich people out there today, it doesn't matter what they have in their portfolio, mm -hmm. real estate. Every, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. even Warren Buffett, mm -hmm. Bill Gates, all of these guys, Oprah Winfrey, all of them. If you notice, if you go to the internet, they talk about these celebrities, they will tell you how much real estate they have. Mm -hmm. you know, because that is indicative of wealth. Mm -hmm. Now, first, to, 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 to get into the market, you have three very important things that you have to think about, right? Credit, income, source of income, and your down payment. Mm -hmm. But I'm just gonna, before I continue, I'm gonna track back a little bit about uh, even the real estate, uh, being a realtor. 
And if somebody wants to become a realtor, right? One of the key ingredients in being successful because in this business, surprisingly, a lot of people don't know, the failure rate after three years is 80%. Oh, wow. So it's a tough business. <laughs> yeah. It's, 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 um, um, would you say it's the glamour and the glitter? Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> Mark you, Mark you, it affords you a certain lifestyle if you work hard. Right. Yes. Like everything, because I'm sure what you guys are doing is a lot of work than people look at CC. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like, it's the same thing with any business you're doing. People will see the glamour and the glitter. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, that they don't see the work and behind it. it. Right. Yeah. But what, one friend of mine just got their, her license and she was asking me if I should give her one tip, what would it be? Mm-hmm. And this is something that can be applied to pretty much anywhere you are in life. And I said to the person, everybody can get the information on the processes and the procedures. Wow. Mm-hmm. Every because that's why you do the course to know what next. Right. But that doesn't pre- prepare you for mental fortitude. Mm-hmm. Yes. If you don't have mental fortitude, forget it. You have to have the staying power. Yes, yes. Even, even as it is now with the multiple offers and stuff. When you go inside there and you keep being beating after being and nothing is happening, you have to be able to motivate yourself and your clients. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Because you, you, have a tr- you have a transfer the frustration from your clients to yourself and manage it. Right. Yes. Right. So mindset but, is key. Mindset is key. Is, it, and I would recommend everybody to go and read Think and Courage. Think the, and grow rich. No, the movie is coming out. Right? Okay. It's important. It's all these motivational speakers. That's where they get the information from. Mm-hmm. Okay. But back to the point, the question you asked me as it relates to home ownership. Right. First, you have to ensure that you have re- good credit. Mm-hmm. The, remember now, when you're, you're going to go to the bank and the bank, the bank is going to ask you, why should I give you my money? Mm-hmm. Money still, you know. Are you money? Yeah. Then, 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 Yes, they don't 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 Okay. Mark, if you're a little bit lower and there's a store behind your thing, if you have a really good mortgage broker, they can explain to the financial institution and say, this is the reason why the person's credit is a little bit blue. So, and most times they will get, or they can use a less, um, uh, um, a lower level lender, high interest rate because there's a level of, a, a level of risk. Risk, yes. So you need that. You know, don't payment, let me just mention the don't payment um, um, ranges quickly. Um, the minimum down payment you can make on a house, um, up to 500,000 can do a minimum of 5%. Okay. And anything from 600,000 to a million attracts 10% on that amount. So for example, you wanna buy a house for 600,000, you're going to need a minimum down payment of about $35,000. Mm-hmm. It's $25,000 on the first $500,000. Mm-hmm. $100,000 is 10% of so $10,000 or so $35,000. Oh, okay, okay. And then and anything over a million dollars attract 20% down payment. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. And um, so, and of course, the little incentive for first time home buyers, you can get um, a rebate from the a rebate, yes. From up to uh, $4,000. But the government doesn't give you that money in your hand. Yeah. It, mm-hmm. They used to they used to do other thing, but people used to buy other things like iPhone and thing, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna see that four thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> so what they're doing now is that they're asking the, the, the lawyers, so what they will do, they will deduct the amount from the amount they ask you to bring in. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. Uh, right. So so if you should bring in an additional ten thousand dollars, sorry guys. Uh, this is, this is, this is, this is, this is, bring me $6,000. Okay. Which makes sense. 
Makes it sense. makes sense, Raymond. And the point that you, you know what? Real estate, as you said, it's a means of wealth. And you create that generational wealth, not just mm -hmm. for you, but for your children and your family, right? Mm -hmm. You spoke about some interesting um, points that people should look at. What are some of the main barriers with people accessing home ownership now in today's market? Mm -hmm. right. um, one of the biggest factor is down payment. Okay. Um, because you see, there's a lot of, there's a lot of things that goes through my head, um, when I think about, especially our community, mm -hmm. but I know we may have other, um, uh, other people watching, um, uh, this video, mm -hmm. for whatever yeah. reason, yeah. but our community have a tendency of having a little bit more challenges. Mm -hmm. So we, I always try my best to see, um, how I can help them to go over this hurdle. Yes. The biggest one is, 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 is down payment and credit. Mm -hmm. They, you know, they go and they take the latest phone and they can't find them young and they can't pay for it. And then the next thing you know, the phone company just mess them up, right? Yes. The thing like that, pay, pay bills on time. And I said to people, it's easy to build your credit. It's very easy. You have a thousand dollars this month. What you do, you get the credit card, you, you, you use a credit card to buy the stuff. And when you're finished at the end of the month, you put that thousand and pay down the credit card. Yeah. Yes. That's simple. Yeah. And if you're doing that, you build a credit. And when you when you have a credit over 700, the bank is going to ask you, how much money do you need? That's your that, salary can carry. So that's one of the challenges they have. Credit, income. Some people try to save to buy uh, what you have done, but it's, even that is difficult. Mm -hmm. but what you can do is mm -hmm. that pool with somebody even if you're still at home if you're still at home you can pull with somebody buy something you, you can still rent it mm -hmm. so when you rent that house then with a condo no matter how small it is because the, the best time to buy real estate mm -hmm. 1975 mm -hmm. the next best time is 7 30 p.m on the 16th of may 2021 <laughs> mm -hmm. like today like now no. No. You right see, now you see you don't wait to buy real estate you buy real estate and wait yes that makes sense yes I remember and permit me tomorrow yes to your story yes i remember i remember when the market dipped when you guys were were, were, were looking and i said to your husband no is it time to, time to, everybody was like no, 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 man, the market is going to go down. And I said, no. I said, guys, I'm the realtor. Mm -hmm. Yes. Listen to your uncle. Yes. I promise. It's one of the challenges. I'm saying this because it's a challenge in our community. Mm -hmm. Their uncle had a bad experience 10 years. Mm -hmm. Forms their thought process. Mm -hmm. Right? That affects their, um, their decision-making process. Mm -hmm. And they will call their own and say, my uncle have a bad experience five years ago. Because <laughs> then move away from the past we live today. We can't go back and change anything happened 10 years ago, but we can change everything today. Right. Yes. Right. Right. So you have to let go of that mentality. A lot of what happened, guys, most of it happens between the ears first before it, before it materialized. Mm -hmm. so what I say to these people, don't focus on that, what happened. I'm the realtor, and I remember I said to, 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 to Tamara and her husband that, no, to tell, and you know what? They went to them, look, they saw something, and they bought it. Yeah. And within mm -hmm. a few months, the value jumped 50,000. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right? yeah. But I just want to use it as an example to say, guys, when you have good professionals in your corner, listen to them. You can't go to the lawyer to get, to get advice about a heart surgery. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, I can't go to the dentist to, to ask them or something or some legal matters. So why is it that when you come to real estate, you're going to your uncle? Yeah, you have to talk to the experts. And when they get burnt, yeah, we don't wait that. So guys, get into the market. This matter if you need to team up with somebody to get in, look how small it is, because that little mole is gonna roll and it's gonna be something later on. And then later, you know what to do with that equity? You share it and you buy your house and you buy your house. You're both in the market. No matter how small it is, start, start, start. Oh, is the best time to buy real estate. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. And Raymond, you mentioned something earlier as you began to speak about this, that um, you help your clients. Like, how do you support someone mm -hmm. who, you know, might think they're not in the, the, the right place or might think it's not a good time? How do you actually support your clients towards the home ownership? Um, right. So, fam, I'm sure you were just filled just listening to Raymond. He has such a bubbly personality. He sure. is a people's person. Yeah. And I can see why he's in this business. But we have so much more to tell you next week. So be sure to tune in with us again next week where we talk some more with Raymond. Bye for now. Bye.